Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 297 and today is our lesson number 190. The problem that we are about to solve is continuation of the problem number 7 but it is not in the book. Okay? And problem number 7 actually is a continuation of problem number 6. So let's, let's begin our story with problem number 6. Listen carefully. In problem number 6, in problem number 6, Martha goes to movie. Martha goes to movie with four friends. In problem number six, the question was, how many different ways can they sit in the on the on the movie seat in, in, in the movie theater? And that was question number six. And we found out that the answer to question number six was five factorial. There are five the five factorial ways. There are five ways that we are, that, that that can be that, that they can uh, fill the first first seat because there are five people. Let's call them, let's give them name here. Martha, Martha and her friends. Let's call call her friends A, B, C, D. So we have four friends A, B, C, D, and we have Martha. Any one of those five people can sit here. Then in the second spot, we have four choices to fill the second spot. There are four ways to fill the second spot. We found that there are three ways to fill the third spot. There were two ways to fill the second last spot, and finally, whoever is left sits in the last spot. And that turns out to be 120 ways. There are 120 ways that these five people, Martha and four of her friends, can sit in the movie theaters in, 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 in a row. In question number seven, a condition was put on it, uh, put upon us. We were told that Martha must sit in the middle. Then the question was, if Martha must sit in the middle, if Martha is hell-bent on sitting in the middle, now how many choices do we have? And we found yesterday, in problem, in, in, on day 189, we found that in that case, if Martha sits in the middle, then we only have four people left for the first spot. There are four ways we can fill up the first spot, either A, B, C, or D. There are three ways we can fill the second spot, whoever, whoever is, whichever three, uh, whoever, uh, whoever has not been picked for the, uh, whoever, whoever has been picked for the first spot does not count, so we have only three people left, three choices left to fill the second spot. To the right of Martha, we, we have two choices, and then finally one, whoever is left sits in the, there's only one choice there. And the answer was 4 times 3 times 2, which was 100, and which was 24. Today we are doing this problem. This time, in this scenario, this is a continuation of 7. In this scenario, this, but this time, Martha goes to movies again, but this time she refuses to sit on either end. Before, she refused to sit in the middle. This time she says, well, that's okay, okay, I don't have to insist that I sit in the middle, but I'm not, but I'm not going to sit on the either end. I want friends on either end so that, I, so that I can yap freely left and right. If I sit in the corner there, I can only yap with the person on my right hand side, but not on the left hand side. She, she wants to be able to talk to both people on, on, I, on either of her uh, left, left hand so, side and right hand side. She wants somebody sitting, one of her friends sitting next to her. So how many different ways are there? Let's find out. Let's find out. Should we continue here? No, let's, let's do it separately. Let's do it separately. The best and the easiest way to easiest way to tackle something like this is to take care of the condition first. Whatever conditions that they give you, take care of that condition first before you worry about other stuff. Just like yesterday in the previous problem, we put the Martha right in the middle, right away. And then we ask ourselves how many different ways you can fill up this part and this part and that part and that part. But we take care of the conditions first. The condition here is that Martha cannot sit here, nor can she sit here. So the question is, how many different ways can I fill this spot? There are only four different ways I can fill up this spot. Because Martha doesn't want to sit here. There are only four ways we can fill this spot. So that takes care of that corner. Now let's take care of the other corners. How many different ways can we fill up this spot? Well, let's pretend that we pick Mr. B to put in this spot. Once we have chosen B, we only have three choices. We can either pick A, or C or D because again Martha doesn't want to sit here. Martha refuses to sit here. So we have only three choices left. Once we pick, once we pick person B for the first spot, 
Then among the remaining three, A, C, and D, those are the three choices we have for this corner. So two people have been chosen out of five. We have only three people left. We have only three people left. Let's pretend that we picked A for this part. So we have three people left here. We can either put B or we can put C. Oh, sorry, B was already chosen. We can either put C, we can either put D, or we can put Martha. We have three choices. Three choices right here. Let's pretend that we put Martha in this, in this spot. How many different ways can we fill up this spot? Well, two ways, either C or D. Let's pretend that we pick C for this part. There were two ways we could have chosen this spot, fill this spot, either with C or D. And finally, there's only one way we can fill up that spot, which is whoever is left. In this case, the person who's left is D. So now we have taken care of everybody. We got A sitting in that corner, we got B sitting in this corner, we got C right in the middle, we got D to the left of her, and we got Martha over here. And that's your answer, whatever that is. 4 times 3 is 12, and 2 times 3 is 6, so it's 12 times 6. 12 times 6 is the answer. 12 times 6 is how much? 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 3, which is 4 times 3 is 12, and this is 6, so 12 times 6. 12 times 5 is 60, I know that, so it's 72. 60 plus 12, 72. That's your answer. That's it. That was the, that was the end of it. I did the same exact problem. I did the same exact problem some years ago, two or three years ago, and you will find it in this video. Just type in math problems, day 27. These are math problems that I have chosen that I can't, they have, that I've come across over the years uh, that uh, I thought uh, would be good, uh, good practice for somebody who's preparing for either SAT or GRE or GMAT because they require some thinking. Try to do all of them. I think there are about 45 of them. Do all of them. Some of them are quite challenging and some of them are not. Some of them are just, just fun to do. All right? I will see you tomorrow on day number 191. Okay. Bye now.